All right, this one is called something something salad bowl. Got a cute girl in it. Apparently, it's like a reverse isekai. Let's try it out. Let's try it out, okay? Ophim Empire, Foreman Demon Lord's Castle. One on the left. See, the designs of the characters what caught my attention immediately, right? I saw like a, a little clip of the trailers. Like the, the girls in this show, they, they look pretty good, but like that's not the only thing that matters in a good anime, right? Like, is it gonna be actually good? Girls look good? Whose voice is that? You just leaked this? <laughs> okay, so Himesama's, you know, personal bodyguard is a fucking dumbass. <laughs> Good intentions, but maybe you shouldn't have fucking exposed who she was when she's running away, bro, from whatever fuck is happening. It's Mila! Mila? <laughs> Okay, Mao Medium is about to get reincarnated. That time I got reincarnate, not reincarnation. Jump! Wait. What is this? Different places that we could drop in? What the fuck was this? Is is this? I don't know. Is it, it must be some kind of like um. A culturally important Japanese person because we're going to Japan, right? I, I don't know. Gifu City. Okay, Japanese lore. Back in the day. Whose voice actor is this? Venimaru? Kaburaya Sosuke, 29. So this is... No, oh, Venimaru's voice actor as him. And then the blonde girl, the main heroine, is also Milim's voice actor. The wife's like, yo, I think my husband's cheating. Please go fucking spy on him. It'd be funny if he was just like going to like a maid cafe and just wanted the moe moe kyun. What's he doing? Blonde girl. The transportation scene. Here we go. Reverse isekai. I thought the opening was trolling with the giant girls. I'm like, there's no way they're actually gonna be that size. No. There's no shot the girls are actually giant size the entire time, right? Okay, 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 okay. I'm like, Jesus Christ, what the fuck was going on? <laughs> you owe us your life then. Holy fuck. Did she do that to him after he fell? Healing powers. Whoa. She can heal. This isn't Milim? What the fuck? わらわの名はサラ。あっちでは大フィム帝国の第7工場をやっておったんじゃが、反乱で国が滅ぶじゃん。オッケー。その世界ってお前。サラダ、オディン。サラダ、サラダ、サラダ、オディン。サラダ、
Oh my god. With a girl of her intelligence is about to show. She's gonna be I think she's gonna be one of the funniest characters in this show, huh? That's Shion's voice actor? We're so close to having a full, you know, slime cast. What kind of shenanigans is she gonna get into? Blood! It's just ketchup. It's just ketchup. I'm cosplaying! Just cosplay. Okay, she's further away. She's bathing in the river? Oh, 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 oh! Respectfully. Guys, re respectfully. Wow. Wow, look at the booty cheeks. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I can't. This, this is peak. This is fucking peak right now. <laughs> the jiggle fix is pretty good. The jiggle face was good. The fan service is there. Her personality is fucking hilarious because she's kind of dumb. I don't know. I, I see a lot of potential in this character. I'm invested. I'm invested in her ass. See, she can fucking eat, you know, make food by herself. Catching sweet fish from the Nagara requires a fishing permit. <laughs> Do not attempt to catch them. Any. She's going to jail. Alright. <laughs> that thing is just tourist attraction, right? Uh oh, it's raining. Or just under the bridge. Just a random homeless dude? Maybe just camping out here. In Libya. 20 years old. Nice. Cup noodles! What do you think? Is it good? Yeah, she might fucking blow up the cop station. Sure? Kind of? Because her fantasy world seemed kind of like Japanese history, right? After her castle fell, the royal family, right? She's escaping. Guess I have to put you up for the night. Make sure you're out early tomorrow. Okay. I can't know you exist? <laughs> We can't kick her out. We're, she's gonna stay with us now. Invalid. We're not trying that. We're not trying that. Maybe she's bluffing, but uh, no, we're not trying that. She would get experimented on. True. Actually, true. I don't think it's a lollicon, but yeah, it's just like a tourist attraction now. Uh, Prime Minister? Hey, she didn't leak this time. Kind of. The cardboard at the back, you're gonna give it to her? Wow, that's so romantic. Alright, <laughs> Livia has also turned homeless now. Okay. I shouldn't be laughing as someone down under luck having to sleep outside on cardboard, but somehow there's the Isekai Lady Night <laughs> just sleeping on cardboard. I like this. It's fucking hilarious. <laughs> he, he's adored. He's adored. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. Listen. Malige! Arise! Really? This cardboard? <laughs> You're better homeless than me. <laughs> Heavy sleeper, huh? Nato. Egg? Rice? The explosion! <laughs> yeah, we didn't do that. No, we didn't do that. Blame the lolly, it's her fault! This girl just ruined the homeless people's way of getting food. People used to come out and like feed them, but then now the explosion's like, now nah, we're not going there anymore, bro. Oh, right over there, the left corner. Nice, nice catch, nice catch. Yeah, she is right over there. It'd be hilarious if she got interviewed right now. <laughs> Title of this video will probably be Bro, She's 13 in tribute to Data Life. 
サラダ。モダンクッキングは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これピンキリだが、稼いでるやつはめちゃくちゃ稼いでる。何故そなたはかって。Why you broke? Why you unsuccessful? Whoa, look at that NATO, look at that. Whoa. You see that? The, the, the NATO animation, the lines here? I've never ate it, but that's kind of like, you know, the sticky NATO thing, right? Oh, mother. I'm not sure. リンディーさん。こっちの世界は娯楽が多くて実に楽しい。Yeah. 食事のわびさだけはなれんが。で、報酬が入ったら、なんかうまいもんでも食おう。あ、まことか。お手伝ってやってもいい。could you。バカ魔法が美行の役に立つのか。wait a minute。wait a minute。is it。is a salad bowl。is her favorite food gonna be salad bowl。Uh, salads are pretty cheap to make, and we're fucking broke. So, and she's desiring to make good food. Like, salads are alright. I don't know. Where does a salad bowl come into this fucking story, bro? What can you do? Invisibility would be OP. Yeah? Disappear is invisibility. I don't doubt you. Not like direct descendant, right? The world doesn't work like manga, girl. Foreshadowing, though, maybe he does become a hero. Oh, backstory. And this is when he resigns. His dreams. This. Oh, she just ate like a little, you know, like octopus thing. But this little girl, even though she's shitting on us, you know, her total difference in culture and, you know, thought process. I feel like she's gonna be able to make our main characters. To kind of pursue his dream to be this cool detective like he wanted to be in the hero, you know? It's the husband again. What are you doing here, bro? What's the money for, bro? What you doing? You spending a moe moe kune at Maid Cafe? Is this Discord kitten calling him? What's going on? Huh? <laughs> Bald! <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> well, we got a smartphone. You got, you got the power of the smartphone recording this. How did it start? They got something on him. We don't know what that something is. Can you fight? Oh, oh Jesus! Oh my god! Dude, he's actually getting fucked up! Nah, bro! Go be a hero! Come on! Where's the bathroom? <laughs> no shot! He actually went with the fucking bathroom line! Oh, this isn't where I parked my car. Do you guys know where the bathroom is? Okay, you think they give a fuck though? Can you fight it? That's where you gotta say, well, if you kill him, then you can't get more money off of him. Huh? It's gotta be her. Sarada. Sarada. Hello. She was bored. Yeah, the spy got spied on. Great detective, huh? She been reading Conan way too much. Well, I don't know what the brilliant mind, but I do agree about the firepower. 
サラダ手が火力を誇るなそなた現実の探偵はヒーローなどではないという Great line Actually great line Sounds like a dumb line It's just saying like Oh you can't buy a house Just buy a house bro Why are you homeless Just buy a house But sometimes This brute force way of doing things is right Sometimes Maybe you should just be the hero Yeah Live your dreams, bro. This 13 year old is having a profound effect on him. EXP, experience points. Level up, level up. Damn, he can fight? Was that Akido or Judo? I don't know. She knows about Sherlock Holmes, too. That was Sistema. Sistema is like the Russian martial arts used for specifically, like, isn't it like such a ruthless martial arts? Where have I heard this before? It's basically specifically designed to like kill your opponents, right? Right? It's 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 a very practical, pragmatic uh, martial arts. She you know what a Wikipedia is. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Is that flip? He's pretty strong. I don't know if he's that strong or if this is supposed to be like a goofy comical moment because he, he he spun like three times there because you gotta be pretty fucking strong to do that, bro. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> That's she used the explosion again. <laughs> she's having way too much fun reading the manga. Her match, she does have magic, so she's like, yeah, I got the key now. This is... Chinese martial arts. She's a child! <laughs> off screen. Off screen. That is the time when people become chuny. Half off. Alright, maybe it's actually good meat. Yo, what about Livia? Livia's still oh. under the bridge? <laughs> this is his own detective agency? I think that... Uh, yeah, he kind of just went independent, right? He used to be part of like a, like a company. And I guess he was kind of sick and tired of uh, just doing like random paperwork, I guess. Right? He had like this grandiose dream of like going big, becoming a hero private detective. Then he left and then life kind of hit him. And he re decided that he realized that, you know, life is not that... You know, idealistic, right? Society collapses on you. You realize you got pay, pay, bills to pay. And he forgot about his dreams. And now, you know, the lolly shows up, Sarada, and she kind of just speaks some truth into him. It's like, yeah, just be a hero. Why don't you just do that? So I think the theme of the story, it's pretty good. Oh. <laughs> Umai! <laughs> so <fun. laughs> That's kind of funny. Do it again. No? I don't know. I feel like, yes, any normal Japanese kid on earth should not be involved in detective work. Any kid for that matter, right? Let alone Japanese. But like, this kid is from a different world where political assassination was fucking happening. I'm sure she's seen some fucked up shit. I'm sure she can handle herself. Ooh. Basically, feed me. And she's kind of cute. No shot she's drinking, right? No shot she's drinking, right? No Livia at the end? Post credit scene! Livia collecting cans? <laughs> the homeless meta, right? You gotta scrap cans for money? <laughs> She's fucking thriving. Dude, Livia is straight up thriving <laughs> in this world. I, look, look, this anime actually, okay, okay, first of all, the anime, I had no expectations. I just saw the name Salable and I was like, what in the fuck is this anime? And then I saw the cute girls and I was like, all right, all right, let's give it a watch. And you know what? I think that this episode was pretty fucking good, right? It seems like um, kind of kind of chill slice of life. There is an isekai element to it, but it also kind of hits home on certain elements that maybe people can relate to, like you know, fucking uh, having a dream that you kind of forget about, and then having someone show up and be like, "Hey, 
Live your fucking dream, right? Stuff like that's pretty cool too. And just the comedy is kind of hitting, right? The comedy is fucking hitting. <laughs> Livia specifically. She's like supposed to be the night attendant and immediately she fucking announces to the assassins that this is the Hime, this is the princess and it's like, what the fuck, right? She shows up bloody. She can fucking fight. She shows up bloody to the citizens of Japan. She's like, why is it running? Oh shit, I'm fucking bloody. And now she's just like thriving underneath the fucking bridge with that other homeless guy. And she has no complaints. I love her. She's fucking great. She's hilarious. I hope we get more of her. I hope you guys enjoy this anime too. I'm sure that a lot of people uh, that needs to hear this hasn't even clicked on the video. But I enjoy this episode. If it does well, I think we can definitely add this to our weekly rotation. But that's it from me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.